Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Young Sage back at DG Online for another car review. This is the Ocelot Ardent. It's pouring down rain right now, so we're trying to stand into a gas station over and hang. I don't think this is even an active gas station anymore, because you never see cars pulling. Anyway, this is based on, well, specifically based on James Bond's Lotus Extreme. I, I want to say it was in his car, but it, I mean, they have the submarine in the game. This is based on a, a final gen Lotus is free from the 90s, early 2000s. And I say James Bond because it does have the same. Oh yeah, and it's got, it's got this. Pop, 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 and down headlights. Pop, 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 and down headlights. Mm. Pop, 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 and down headlights. Shout out James Pumphrey. Mm. I don't know that song at all. It's also known as kind of American. Honestly, the tail looks like they ripped straight off the faction. I'm pitching off. These look like they came off the village faction. Taking in the LSC in this, well, taking it into Beaker's garage. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? I don't know why there's not a different guy at Beaker's, but there isn't. I'm just gonna do that. It kind of looks cool. Give you guys a quick overview of this stuff. And you can do all this too. You can put the low rider engines in there if you want. You know, I'm liking all the two tones, so you know what we're gonna stick with. I like the stock hood; it just it just looks the best. Now I have to say, this is one of the only cars that I can think of that has pop up and down headlights. Mm. Comes with no spoiler, but this looks like, this looks pretty close to a soccer spree spoiler. These two are just kind of crazy. And they're kind of small, honestly. Like, for a wing, they're really tiny. Oh, by the way, this is the, these are the stock wheels. They look kind of like they look kind of like they belong on an industrial pickup truck. So I took them off and I replaced them with these, the Sport Infernos. Now this car also has a sunroof, which is, I think that's very rare in GTA, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's a very, there's only a few vehicles that have that. This vehicle is weaponized. It comes with machine guns, as I told you guys. And it's not raining anymore, so that's perfect. Uh, we're gonna get in trouble for this, but. Okay. Well, 
unlike some of the other cars in the game, this is just these are pieces. They don't do much of it. They will kill. They will kill AIs. Also today, there's they finally released those Gerald. I made some like a Barbie car on purpose, but I want to talk to you about this. Because we are making another princess car, I have to bring it back. You guys remember my very first Chili Ad video, what we did? From like one of the, and also one of the earliest, um, the early, the early Rebel Lights Track video, they saw in our ad video, we started the princess car. Well, I'm bringing that shit back. I mean, this thing does but we legitimately play a party car. And I don't, I don't give a crap. I wanted something weird, and I got something weird. Pink and white art. Guy. Uh, let's stuck at our weed farm. I won't deal with no cops. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting though, but yeah, cops are a thing. You can kind of see Radio Los Santos on there, or it's not stop pop. That's a unique. That's a unique radio face, though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, cops, you ever heard of social distancing? That's what I'm trying to do. Social distance myself from you. I don't know why I said you.
Cancelled. Lester, I don't want to talk to you. limousine parking. I noticed the same thing at the uh, casino. And that's actually limousine parking. That's our very beat up Ocelot Ardent. Ocelot, I guess. I don't know why I maybe want to say Ocelot, but it seems like it kind of fits, but it's not. It's Ocelot. I know what I'm talking about. Don't don't at me in the comment section. So I know you rude people will. You will be reported to YouTube and you will not last. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of messy video. Two freaking police chases. One that we just kind of we just kind of pussied out of. But on the highway, there's really no way to get with the cops. Anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed this review. Do you own one of these? And this is actually one where I can say, have you driven one? Because this is not available in any mission, to my knowledge. So anyway, leave your thoughts about this vehicle in the comments down below. It was on sale last week, so I thought I'd nick it. And also, I want a, I want a discount from the wheel, so I got it even cheaper. Oh, I will show you guys the page. I got it for like 400000 but it's back up to full price now. And at that price, it ain't worth it. 1.15 million. That's not worth it at all. Technical difficulty there for a second. Also, I don't know why this car is sold on Warstock because just because it has guns, I guess. So guys, let me know your thoughts about this car in the comment section below. I will probably do one more review. I'm not sure. Um, maybe. Anyway. See you guys next time. Peace out.